Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new bookish series TBR Tinder first date. So if you have been around on my channel for a while, you would know that I used to do a series called TBR Tinder, which was my monthly TBR game where I basically would randomly generate a book and swipe left or right on it based on if I wanted to read the book that month. I'm going to leave the TBR Tinder playlist linked down below if you want to watch some TBR Tinder and get to know what that series was like. It was so much fun. I truly loved making those videos and TBR Tinder was such a great time, except when it came to reading the books, okay? I quickly realized setting out a set monthly TBR is just like not the way my body works. It's not the way I roll. And I found it very difficult to stick to the TBR that was given to me by TBR Tinder. I am such a mood reader and it was like I would just delay and delay and delay the books and then never end up getting to them. So I kind of slowly phased TBR Tinder out of my channel, but I have always had a deep love for it deep down below. I know you guys have as well. Well, and I have been stewing on how to repurpose TBR Tinder for a very, very long time until earlier this year, one of my favorite booktubers, Becca from Becca in the Books, she created a video series on her channel called Shelve It or Scrap It, which is an incredible series. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I'm gonna leave the link down below for the latest one in the series. It's gold, it's amazing, would recommend, okay? But her putting that out very much inspired me to think about creating a series on my channel and I have been sitting with this idea for a really, really long time and finally want to have it come to fruition. So if you have watched Shelve It or Scrap It before, you know that that is more of like kind of like an unhaul challenge. She has like a bunch of books on her floor and essentially she's trying to either get rid of them or put them on her shelves, okay? Mine's not gonna be so much like that. Mine is just more of a reading down my physical TBR because I cannot stand that I have books on my t physical TBR from like 2020 that I still haven't read yet. It just like viscerally irks me. And every time I look at the books on my TBR shelf, I'm like, why haven't you read that yet? And I just continue to like skip over them and skip over them for a new release. It's just really bugging me at this point, okay? So I have decided to come up with this new series called TBR Tinder First Dates which is going to be incorporating TBR Tinder, but it's going to be kind of like a vlog style. Here is how the game is going to work. In the start of the video, I am going to swipe three times on TBR Tinder. I am such a mood reader, and I knew that if I had to just assign myself a book to read, I probably won't read it. So I decided to give myself three swipes to pick a book that I'm interested in. If I get to the third swipe, I just end up having to read that book, okay? So that th there will come to a point where there are consequences. Now, my biggest struggle with TBR Tinder was always physically reading the books, okay? So I have decided to give myself a time limit on how long I get to read these books. If it is a book between 300 and 500 pages, I will have three weeks to read the book. If it is a book that is over 500 pages, I will have five weeks to read the book. Now, you may be thinking that is an incredibly long amount of time to give yourself to read a book, but girl, I am a slow reader and three weeks is like a perfect amount of time for me to read a book. I should have plenty of time to finish that. That is my normal pace of reading and I'm just like, that's just how I read. I have, I work a full-time job. I'm very busy. I have a social life, etc. Three to five weeks. I know I should be able to finish a book at that point. Now, if I meet these deadlines and I have not completed the book yet, I will need to get rid of that book. Whether or not I have finished it or not, clearly this book was not important enough for me to have finished the book. So I will need to put it in an unhaul pile at that point. The other rule that I have for myself is that I am going to have to read at least 100 pages in the first week after picking a book. The reason I have this rule is because I'm such a procrastinator and I know that if I just gave myself an arbitrary three to five weeks to read a book, I will literally not pick the book up until like two, to two days before the due date. I have seen this in myself time and time again for my in-person book club. I tend to finish the book hours before our meeting is. So I will have to read at least 100 pages of the book in the first week. If I do not, I will have to get rid of the book. Now I have become a chronic DNFer. I am not someone who will stick to reading a book if I'm not interested in it. And I very much anticipate myself DNFing a handful of these books on my TBR. So if I end up DNFing a book, I will need to go back to square one and restart with the swipes to find a book that I'm interested 
interested in. The video will end once I finish a book or if I end up liking the first book that I read, then it'll just end when I decide it to end. Okay, maybe I'll read two books. But I just know that I need to complete at least one book in order for the video to finish. I hope that all makes sense to you. I'm sure you'll understand as we continue into the video. But essentially my goal is to just read down this physical TBR. I'm so sick of seeing all these books that I've had on here for like four years. We just need to get through these. So this is the solution I came up with. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it and I'm gonna give this a try. So without further ado, shall we just get into the swipes? I'm so excited. Okay, so I just updated my old TBR Tinder list this morning and we have over a hundred books on my physical TBR. So baby, let's get into it, okay? So let's bring up the TBR Tinder phone. Hey, old friend. Um, Good to see you again. Let's get to it. You guys, I'm a little nervous. I haven't done this in probably over a year, okay? It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Okay, ready. Here we go. Swipe number one. What the? No, I got an ad. Redo, swipe number one, one, two, three. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, we got Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood. I mean, I just bought this book like a month ago. Literally a month ago. Okay, TBR Tinder gods are in our favor right now. I am internally screaming, oh my God. I am gonna definitely swipe right on this book. I bought this book when I was with all my booktube besties uh, when we went to visit Lachlan. I'm gonna leave the vlog link down below, but I have been wanting to read this book since I got it. It is Allie Hazelwood's newest romance release, and I've heard it's like quite a bit spicier than her other ones. I'm so happy because this is a book that I've genuinely been interested in. I was so nervous going into this because I thought I was gonna get a book that was like, has been on my TBR for four years, which I mean, is the goal of the video, right? But like, it's nice that we're gonna like ease ourselves into this. I feel like I'm not under so much pressure having to read a contemporary romance that's like about 300 pages. Like I know I'm going to be able to finish this in the time allotted and I'm hopefully going to like it, fingers crossed. So sorry we didn't get more swipes, but like I'm 100% sure that I'm interested in reading this book right now. It's summertime, it's romance time, like it is time for me to read this book, okay? Oh my gosh, I have to remember which way I swipe because it's like opposite of what you see on the screen. <laughs> Do it with me. Not in love, we are swiping right on. Ah! Oh my God, oh my God, you guys. Wait, that was so fun. Okay, I'm so excited about this. This is great, this is great. Okay, so let's just do a little date check on how long I have to read this book. I Remember, I have to read at least 100 pages in the first week. So today is August 3rd, so I will have 100 pages to read by August 10th, and I have to finish the book by August 24th. I think I can definitely, definitely do that. This book is like, it's 350 pages long, like, done. Easy. I just read a 300 page book in like two days this week. I know I can do this and I know that I should be able to finish this book in time. Wow, you guys, I really think that I'm starting off on a good note and I have a feeling that I'm going to finish this book and like this book. So I want to tease that if I end up finishing this book, I will likely do another set of swipes because I know I'm probably going to like this book and I want this video to be a little bit longer and a little bit more fun than me just reading one book. You know what I mean? So let's get to it. Let's read that. Love. Oh my god, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm already enjoying it. I'm already having a great time. So let's do it. I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye! everyone okay time for the first update so i'm actually on page 77 right now i haven't officially made it to 100 pages but today is friday august 9th so i have one more day until i need to be at the 100 page mark which i'm going to complete i um, am actually leaving out of town literally in like 30 minutes but i just wanted to give this first update because I'm going to just be reading this until I get picked up, which I should be at 100 pages. Our main characters are Rue and Eli. Rue works in this like food lab, okay? And she is like a PhD and she does like food science essentially. And her company that she works for is getting bought out 
by the company that Eli works for. Eli, it's like him and a group of five people or whatever, and they purchased Rue's company's business loan. So essentially they like own the own her company. He's her boss, essentially. But the twist is, is that before Rue knew that Eli is purchasing her company, literally the night before this whole deal happened, Eli and her met up and they were going to get down and dirty with it, okay? They had matched on an app. It was giving like Tinder and Hinge, but like mostly for just hooking up like only like straight physical not looking for like a long-term relationship anything it was just like a straight it was just going to be a hookup okay so they had met and something happened during that evening where nothing physical ever happened they basically met each other the tension was palpable between those two but nothing came to fruition because of like a situation with Rue's brother okay that came up during this date so we've kind of entered into this like enemies to lovers type of romance where there's a lot of tension between Rue and Eli not only tension because of like the job aspect like now he's her boss and like he bought the company she works for and she's really bitter about that so there's like an actual good setup for having an enemy's you know relationship with these two but there's a lot of sexual tension as well. These two people are feral. It just is like an animalistic kind of need that these two people are experiencing for one another. I feel like it's being done in a way that I'm appreciating more because I feel like a lot of the times when you can tell that two people are really attracted to each other in these books and they're supposed to be enemies, it's just a lot of like, Ugh, I hate him, whatever. Like it's just, again, a lot of tell versus show. Like they're not really showing that they're actual enemies, but I feel like Allie Hazelwood's doing a good job of actually setting them up as enemies and having like a legitimate reason why they don't like each other or they're having a lot of tension. It's not even like enemies. They're just like having mixed feelings because they're definitely into each other, but like professionally and in other ways of their lives, it's hard to completely step into that because there's weird work boundaries and like legal stuff and like all that kind of stuff. So it's like they can't really be together at this point, um, nor do they really want to because there's a there's just a lot of tension there between these two. Um, okay, so that's the plot start off. Overall vibe check, vibe check on the book. Um, it's feeling a solid three. It's feeling a solid three stars. I'm not disliking it, but I'm definitely noticing I'm kind of just skimming it. And like, that's not a bad thing. It's just kind of feeling like it, this book isn't really going to be that impactful. I don't really know if I'm going to remember it that well. You know, that kind of a vibe. I will say, though, that this is an adult book. I know when we're going to get to the spicy scenes, it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be intense. The language that these two characters are using for like their inner monologues, it's like, it's good. It's good. This book does probably have potential to up its rating for me from a three star, just based on the spiciness and alone, because I just have a feeling it's gonna be really, really good. And I know that Allie Hazelwood can like write spice based on the love hypothesis. I've, I personally loved it, okay? So I, I just have a feeling that we, there, there's potential, there's potential here, okay? I'm not disliking it. I'm definitely not going to stop with it, but um, I just like haven't had a lot of time to physically read this week. I've been so busy. I'm going out of town this weekend and I'm honestly just like so happy that I am actually going to finish these 100 pages by this weekend because, or by tomorrow, because I've literally had stuff going on every single second of this week and I haven't had time to read. So that's the check-in. It's going well. I was initially kind of a little bit stressed about the challenge being like, I hope I can get this done, but I'm doing it and we're doing good. And I'm very much enjoying this video challenge. Check in with you guys later. Hopefully I will have at least be at halfway point at the next check mark. Okay, bye. Hello, hello again, hello again. Okay, I am on page 156. I need to give a date update, okay? Today is August 17th. I think I have one more week I need to finish this book. I'm probably going to finish this book today or tomorrow because here's what happened, okay? I finished the first 100 pages and then this entire last week, I haven't had time to physically read, but I've been listening to Golden Sun on audio, which I'm 
talking about in a different vlog right now, took over my life for a few days, okay? Totally took over my life. But now I have a Saturday where I just get to like hang out, be by myself. It's raining outside, it's drear. It's like literally the perfect reading weather. I'm on sprints with Monica right now for Battle-a-thon and I just decided to pick this book back up this morning. <laughs> I'm on page 156. First of all, let me just tell you, let me tell you my thoughts, okay? The spice. Baby, we're just getting started, okay? We had one scene and it was <gasps> not safe for work, okay? Don't bring this book to your job. And that was after one scene, like there's more to come, okay? The spice is turned up to a 12. It's there, it is. Allie Hazelwood knows her craft. It is perfection. That's what's carrying me through, okay? I am so invested in their relationship. And it's like, it's like this, there's just this tension that they like, it's not hate to love. It's just like a, they can't be together situation because they work together. And it's palp, like their, their tension is palpable. I never actually thought that I, like, I don't even know what the trope is. What is it like forbidden love? I don't know. But like, it's like, yeah, it's like the situation where they can't be together. It's not enemies to lovers. Like I am feeling the tension. I'm absolutely in love with whatever this trope is. The downfall I have to this book is that I really don't care about the plot at all. I don't care about these two businesses merging. I don't care about who's the boss of who. Quite frankly, it's making for like kind of a weird relationship between these two because I feel like it's getting into the territory of like an HR nightmare. Um, actually, no, it's way past that. Like it is an HR nightmare if this t company were to ever find out. Like in one scene, they were literally at a work event and they were like getting all up on each other at a work event. Um, there's a line, there's a line and that's crossing the line. Okay, I feel like we, if, if this was a different scenario, um, I think I would be into it a little bit more, but the spice is incredible and I'm actually very invested in both of these two people as, as people. I really like both of their personalities and how they kind of play off of each other and like just the romantic tension we have between them is, is a 10 out of 10. I will also say, so I have the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition and in the front of the book, they have a like image of, of who Rue and e Eli are and baby girl, these are not my Rue and Eli. Absolute, what kind of haircut is that? That is not how the book is described him. They described him with this kind of like messy curly brown hair. Who is that? Is that like freaking Kevin from your office? Like I, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. That is not how they pictured Eli in the book. Like no. Um, Part of me kind of wants to take that picture out of the book because it's not my ruined Eli, but I will leave it in. It's just like a fun little read. Like there's, this book is not gonna last with me forever. It's just like a fun little moment in time. And then we're gonna move on to something more intense. I'm sure the next read after this, but so far TBR Tinder first dates has been a success. My first date with this book is surely going very well. <laughs> so I will update you guys later and hopefully I'll finish this book either today or tomorrow. Bye. Hi. Okay. Need to give an update on... I am on page 240. Just like straight read this for hours yesterday. Guys, this... Okay, so this is like a normal like contemporary romance with some spice and some like you know, scenes. Okay, we are up, up, we are like, we are like way, way up here, okay? Um, Allie Hazelwood did her big one with this book. Girl, and does she know her craft? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, these scenes have been, but like, wow? This is a step up from what I had expected. I didn't even know what to expect, but I didn't think I was going to get this, you know, in a good way, like, the fact that you could just buy this book at Barnes and Noble and it is being advertised on a silver platter for you, it's girlhood, okay? <laughs> Still don't give two Fs about this plot. I literally do not care about the plot. The tension between these characters is incredible. Also, wait, you guys, we turn into a little bit of a figure skating hockey romance here. Um, just, just a tad, just, it was just a little sprinkle, you know? Did that give me flashbacks of Icebreaker? Yes. 
If you don't know, I absolutely hated Icebreaker. I used to be a figure skater and Icebreaker got it all wrong. Okay, no research was done in that book. Honestly, this has made me more interested in reading Allie Hazelwood's other books. I've read The Love Hypothesis before, loved it. Then I read Love on the Brain like very soon after that. And Love on the Brain felt like a carbon copy of The Love Hypothesis, just like change the names around a little bit and change the scenario a little bit, but it felt like the same exact type of book, which is why I haven't picked up another Ali Hazelwood book since. People were saying on Sprints yesterday that Love Theoretically was also very good, which I do have that one, and I maybe I should pick that one up after. Definitely going to be finishing the book for sure. We're not DNFing it at this point. I have like 100 pages left, and like I think I'm just gonna cruise through that today. And then later today, once I finish the book, we can go on to our next swipe. So I'm gonna, I'm so excited for that. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. See you for the next swipe. Okay, hello everyone. I'm back and I finished it. I finished Not In Love by Allie Hazelwood and guess what the date is today? Yes, it is August 23rd, one day before I was supposed to finish this book. So that was a total of three weeks. I gave it a three stars. Honestly, I probably could have given it a 2.5. The only thing that I like enjoyed about this book was the spice. I thought it was like, wow. Allie Hazelwood knows how to write some spicy scenes. My goodness gracious. I was blushing, I was kicking my feet. I like had to look away at times. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot at times, um, but in the best way possible, you know? I will say I literally didn't care about the plot at all. I know I've told you this, but it never got better. The last um, maybe 50 pages of the book were just all plot and like whatever was going on with this business and I, couldn't care less. I literally did not care a single sentence of the last like 50 pages of the book, which honestly, I felt like while I was reading the last part of the book, I wanted to DNF it. Um, but I, w I was like 50 pages away from being done and I just kind of like skimmed the last little bit and I just, I was just like, I just need to be done with this book. I honestly feel like if I wasn't reading this book for a video challenge, I probably would have DNF'd it. It really is a quick read if you're not me. <laughs> like if you're like any other normal person on booktube, you probably would read this in like two days. But for some reason, I decided to film two reading vlogs at one time, which knowing my reading pace was a terrible idea because I haven't put a video out in over two weeks now um, because I've just been trying to read three books at once. Don't ask, okay? I, I really made a mistake on this one. So sorry if you haven't seen a video from me for a while. But yes, finished this book, gave it like a two and a half, three star, unfortunately. Honestly, what was that plot? I don't know. There were like a lot of HR nightmares uh, in multiple ways, not just the relationship way. I don't know, like the whole merger, whatever was going on with these companies. I don't, I don't know business, okay? I don't understand business, but it seemed sketchy. It seemed like this wasn't something that would actually be legal, but maybe it was. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, okay? Ask, uh, ask literary Sahar. <laughs> okay, but without further ado, we need to pick a second book for this vlog. Dear Lord, I am probably going to filming this vlog for like two months. What's new? I genuinely thought about ending this video after finishing Not in Love because I've literally read that. It took me three weeks to read that book. I'm gonna power through because I promised you in the beginning of the video I was gonna do at least two swipes and I am manifesting one of two books. There are two specific books that I am just dying to read off of my physical TBR and honestly, I'm nervous. I need, I need one of these books, okay? Are we ready? Let's pull up the TBR Tinder phone again. <sighs> Take a deep breath, manifest these books. Now remember, I have three swipes and I have to read the book on the third swipe if I don't pick one. I'm nervous. Okay, one, two, three. I have mixed feelings. Okay, this isn't one of the books that I wanted to read. This isn't. But I'm too scared to pick another book because this is a short book and I probably could read this in one sitting. And I've been meaning to read this for a very, very long time. So the book that was chosen was On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous uh, by Ocean Vuong. This has literally been on my TBR since 2020. It is a sh very short book. So like, why haven't I read it yet? And also, 
We're in the month of August right now. It is Battle-a-thon. And this is definitely a five-star prediction for me. I've just like genuinely not been in the mood to read a literary fiction in a really, really long time. Okay, so I just grabbed the book. It's literally like 200 pages. So this would not, I could read this in one sitting for sure. This is not gonna take me long to read at all. Um, and I've heard it's so, so, so beautiful and so heartbreaking. The biggest reason why I'm pulling to swipe right on this is because it's so short and I know I could finish this and then probably get this up video uploaded as soon as possible. Um, I'm leaving to go to Ireland next Friday and like it would actually be perfect if I could finish this vlog before. <laughs> Otherwise I don't know when I'm gonna put a video out. Like I literally don't. Okay, I think I'm gonna swipe right. <laughs> I mean, this sounds beautiful. It really, really does. This is a letter from a son to a mother who cannot read. It talks a lot about addiction, violence, trauma, compassion and tenderness. And it is much about the power of telling one's own stories as it is about the obliterating silence of not being heard. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna take a highlighter to this book and just like highlight the entire thing. And it's like 200 and something pages. It's not even 250 pages. Like I, if I, I just feel, have a feeling if I don't swipe right on this, I'm gonna get like a 500 page book and then be screwed. You know what? Everything is pointing to say yes to this. This is definitely not the books that I was manifesting, but that's okay. I can read those on the side. Okay, wait, another thing. So I went to a Hosier concert last weekend, which was beautiful and it provoked me like I am existential in this current moment. And like, I think this book fits that vibe. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm gonna swipe right on, on Earth. We're briefly gorgeous. So do it with me. We are swiping right. Well, I can tell you I'm not like overwhelmingly like, yes, this is the exact book I wanna read in this moment. But I have a feeling that I'm going to really appreciate this book once I'm finished. In terms of like, Timing wise, I would need to finish this book within three weeks, but I'm gonna set my deadline even earlier for myself. Since we're leaving Friday, my goal is to finish this by Friday evening. So yeah, today is August 23rd. I need to finish this by August 30th. If I have one week to read freaking 200 pages, you can do this, Kara. All right, you guys, I will see you when I check in. Okay, bye. Welcome back here for an update with On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. I am on page 110 and today is Friday, August 30th, AKA like a week after I swiped on this book. Can I be real with you for a sec? I wanted to love this book so bad. This was like an actual high four star, five star prediction. And I feel like it was one of those books that had just been sitting on my shelf, kind of just waiting for the right time to read it. And that time seemingly never came for four years until now. <sighs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm just not enjoying this book as much as I had hoped I would be. The storytelling in this book is vignette style where basically every page and a half or, you know, it's like kind of little vignettes about the author's life and you're getting little snippets of it. The hard part for me is that all of these snippets, I'm not really finding that they correlate and it feels like I'm jumping around a lot until I got to these last maybe 10 pages where I feel like I'm finally getting somewhat of a storyline of, of him kind of exploring his sexuality and his first potential love interest. The earlier sections were telling us about his family history. It felt a little disjointed to me. Like it just didn't feel like there was a singular thread moving from vignette to vignette to vignette. And even still, it keeps flip-flopping between completely different time periods of his life you know it's just like two totally separate stories that he's flipping back and forth between and they're not seemingly connecting in my brain and I don't know if I'm just like not paying enough t attention but also at the same time my attention is not completely taken by the book I'm just not really into it and 
I wanted to like it so bad because I feel like so many people have given this book really great reviews and I'm n I don't want to diminish some of the quotes in here because honestly some of the insights and some of the quotes are absolutely stunning like I'll just be reading a page and all of a sudden Hale will throw something like a quote out and it's just takes me by surprise takes my breath away they're beautiful but at the same time I feel like I'm not getting much from the book you know story wise or message wise part of me kind of wants to dnf the book because i'm just like not really caring that much but at the same time i'm already like over halfway through and i'm kind of just like i might as well finish it i don't know i'm, I'm really up in the air and in between on this book i wanted to give that update honestly i'm, I'm kind of feeling a dnf i'm going to ireland literally in like two hours um but i don't really want to bring this book with me on my trip just for sheer packing space um, because I have other books that I'm interested in reading and I also would rather bring like my Kindle. So I'm kind of thinking I might just like soft DNF this book because I'm just really not interested in it and I just feel like I'm, I'm not connecting. I am not connecting with this book in the way that I had wanted to and I really pains me to say that because I wanted to love this book so much. So yeah, unfortunately this book is not for me. I probably am going to um, unhaul this book because I just don't feel a connection to it and I don't really feel like reason for it to be on my shelf if I don't love it. Do you know what I mean? So other than that, I am going to end the vlog here for a few reasons. First of all, I've been filming this video for like an entire month at this point and I really want to be done with the video because my content has been lacking. Okay, I've gone three weeks without posting a video solely because I've kind of been in a reading slump from reading some of these books and I want to get back to books that I are fueling my soul, you know? And number two, um, I'm going to Ireland, like I said, and I don't want to continue this vlog whilst I'm in Ireland. I just kind of want to be done with it. Traditionally, if I was not going on a trip, I would likely swipe on a book, but I have already completed a book in this vlog, which was my initial goal. So I am okay with that. Quick recap from where we started in the video to where we are now. I believe I started with 103 books on my physical TBR and I am leaving this video with 99 books. Woohoo, we're under 100. So that's a slay. So all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I for sure did. I honestly did not expect me to stick with the video as much as I have and like I feel like the time constraints I put on myself were like definitely motivating me to read the books. Keep watch out for episode two of this series. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and leave a heart if you've made it this far and I will see you at my next one. Bye everyone.